and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a huge stationery haul. I've been collecting this for months now. Oh my god, this is so heavy. So it's a very, very large bag and I've got lots of things inside. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick disclaimer at the start. Now, um, if you can't afford this, I just wanted to let you know that you can get creative using anything. So when I first started this channel, a lot of my videos, I just use paper pens and maybe either one Frankie magazine or maybe one Kiki K book or I barely had any stationery at all. All I had was one little box of stationery and that was it. And I still found ways to get creative using lots of different unique things. I've actually created a video, um, it's called zero like how to make a pen pal letter on a zero budget or something similar to that so that's on my snail mail playlist on my channel so i really want you guys to think outside of the box if maybe you don't have a lot of funds to buy stationery and i've been collecting this for months now so this isn't me um going out and spending a whole lot of money in one go i've actually spent little bits and pieces throughout the last few months um and i don't spend a lot of money on clothes and makeup and all that jazz. Um, this is actually a hand-me-down top for free. <laughs> um, so I spend my money majority on stationery. Now this stationery haul is a haul for the entire year. I've banned myself from buying stationery for the rest of the year. So this is sort of like a yearly stationery haul. So that's why it's so large. Um, and yeah, I didn't want anyone to feel bad if they can't afford it. I just want you guys to know that you can get creative using anything. I just have worked hard and I spend my money specifically on stationery. So um, let's jump right into the video and I'll show you all the goodies that I got. And you guys have also requested that I tell you um, where I got them from. So I will be telling you exactly where everything's from um, in case you did want to go out and purchase any of these for yourself. All right, let's get started. <laughs> So this first little mini haul is from Morning Glory. It's got the cutest little bear. Of course, I'm going to be keeping the packaging. Um, and Morning Glory in Sydney is in Chinatown. So if you go to Chinatown, um, I think there's a few Morning Glories around there. But the things I got from Morning Glory, and lucky a few of the prices are still on these things. So the first thing is these adorable envelopes. I absolutely love them. I love the patterning inside of them and they were two for five dollars so I thought they were absolutely adorable and I really just like the pastel colors and these patterns let me just show you up close these patterns how beautiful oh is that in focus I just love 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 them so there's a, I think there's two in each pack and then this one here is just absolutely my style <laughs> so the next thing I got was this moment um, book. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Moomin? I didn't watch this. I think this is a cartoon series. I didn't actually watch this as a child. Um, but I absolutely love the characters. And it is lined and it's got beautiful pictures all throughout. So I really want to start writing all my pen pal letters in this book and tearing out the pages because the characters are so cute. And yeah, I really, really like the style of this book. Very, very cute, that one. Um, and I think that was $6. So very unique and cute. This next one here was $2.95. Now this was also from Morning Glory. And it's actually one of those envelopes that you write the letter on the envelope. So it's got the little envelope here and then this envelope folds up. Does that make sense? And the cute little stickers. Look, I'll do a close out these panda bears. I like avocado. They're like eating breakfast. So a little toast, egg, avocado, bacon. It's so adorable. So, so cute. So I'll show you. I'll open it up in a later video. So, sorry, in a future video. <laughs> um, I'll open it up and I'll actually use this in one of my videos so you guys can see how it works. So those are all the goodies I got from Morning Glory. So the beautiful envelopes, pattern envelopes, the writing paper. And also this cute envelope here. Okay, okay. So next is Muji, as you can see. And I really like what they do with their bags. They actually put a little bit of washi tape over the top here. And they do the same thing in Japan. I thought it was really cool because Muji, um, I don't know if Muji is Japanese or if it's, um, yeah, it must be Japanese. Yeah, it was originated in Japan, of course, because I wanted to go to the original Muji when I went to Japan, but I didn't get to. So just for your knowledge, um, 
This was around $30. So I don't know individually what each price was. But I specifically bought these goodies for certain reasons. Um, so I will tell you the reasons why I got each one. And I'll let you know how I'm going to use them. So this washi tape was absolutely adorable. It's a set of three. I really, really love it because it's really... Um, I think it's slightly see-through, the dotted ones here and also the middle one. And I really want to use it for my journaling. Um, because I thought it would be really nice to put over like um, photos and things. Like so the corners of photos. So I've wanted this washi tape for a while. And I finally got it on my haul. <laughs> this one here... So this is um, those plastic sleeves and this is just one of those little albums that you put all the plastic sleeves in and I actually got these two to put all my mini mails in so if you guys haven't watched my previous video um, I made a video it was a challenge video it was you guys to make mini mails and I thought this would be a perfect little sleeve pocket um, because it's so tiny and I can put all and I can display all the mini mails in here So that's why I specifically got that and also my mini zines. I'm gonna put in here as well So it's gonna display my mini mails and mini zines <laughs> So the next lot of things I actually got because I want to make my own travelers notebook Because I may be going for a trip at the end of the year, but I won't tell you in case it doesn't happen um, Because I really want to do some oops. That was my phone I really want to do some journal with me videos. Sorry, let's turn that off. Um, I really want to do some journal with me videos when I'm overseas. And I really want to create my own traveler's notebook out of these little bits and pieces from Muji. So I got two of these books. I really want to put these in the middle of my traveler's notebook. And what you do is you find the center page and you put a little band around it. I can explain it all later. If not, this video is going to go for too long. But these inserts are perfect for making your own traveler's notebooks. Um, the pages, I'm pretty sure they lay flat. So it's going to be really, really cool and really um, fun to make that book. And I've also got a mini one too. So it can be for all different sizes. And then I got these clear pockets that I can put all my um, stationery in when I go traveling. So I can make a full travel kit and my own traveler's notebook. Because traveler's notebooks are so expensive. <laughs> so... Next, I got just plain envelopes from Muji. So these are just the plain craft envelopes, just the standard size. I just thought I'd grab some more of these because I ran out of envelopes a while ago. And then this is, I was wanting some of these. They're just grid paper, um, sticky notes. And I really want to write some mail tags on these and also maybe some playlists and things like that. And it's just really... Um, minimalistic stationery that I really like using. So I'll just bring all this back. So that's all the goodies I got from Muji. So next was a little anime manga store. So it was like a little cute Japanese store. It was um, sort of in Haymarket near um, Central. If you live in Sydney, you'll know where that is. But if you don't, I don't know how to explain this shop um, because it was one of those really small it wasn't a chain store, it was just a one-off store, <laughs> so you're not going to find it anywhere else but Sydney, so I'm sorry if I didn't explain that very well. Um, but basically, I, I stopped at the store because I saw they had a whole bunch of Totoro stuff, and I was obsessed, and I couldn't walk past, so this is actually just a gift bag, and I thought that would be perfect to either put a package in so it's now my package or if I know someone who's having a birthday soon um, or I might just keep it for myself because I love Totoro <laughs> so the next two little things I just got because I can't I don't actually I don't usually find a lot of Totoro stationery around the place so when I saw this um, when I was walking past Chinatown I was absolutely obsessed and I had to grab it so I got two sticker sets they're quite different. Um, I actually pulled one out and then I realized that they were different so I had to get both because I don't have a lot of Totoro stationery. So I thought they were really, 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 really cute. Let me do a bit of a close up for you guys. I don't know if that was in focus, but I love my Totoro so <laughs> I had to get it. This last one, it actually looks like this was printed out on like a sticker page. Because it's lots of Sailor Moon um, little icons. And it looks quite 90s and retro. So I really like it. Well, not so much retro, but more 90s. Um, and I just love it. If you love Sailor Moon, then you might also really appreciate this sticker set. Um, look at this cute little the camera. Like in one of these phones. The old TV. CD player. 
I just thought it was really, really adorable. So I had to get it. And um, I might put this in one of my pen pal letters for someone who also really appreciates Sailor Moon. <laughs> So that's all I got from this unknown store name. So sorry I don't have the name of it. But it was just one of those little anime Japanese stores. So if you're going to Sydney and you're going through Haymarket, it's from when you walk down from Central towards Haymarket. Um, it's across from, I think it's, oh, I'm going to give the wrong information. But that's all I got from this store. <laughs> so this one is from monsterthreads.com.au. I'll put the names of all the stores in the description box below for you. But I was actually at the galleries in Sydney and I was going towards Muji and I saw the really cool Monster Thread um, planters. So I walked inside and I found this book and I thought it was absolutely adorable and I could not put it down. As soon as I picked it up I was like, oh no, <laughs> I shouldn't spend any more money on stationery because I just went to Muji. But I absolutely was obsessed with it and I knew this was quite unique and I've never seen this anywhere else. So I had to buy it, of course. Um, so this is actually a wrapping paper book, and I know that sounds really odd, but I thought it's perfect for making pen pal letters, um, because the prints are just absolutely beautiful. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of botanical themed pen pal letters soon, and I'll also be putting a lot of these, um, papers in, um like paper samples in letters for you guys as well. So you rip it off there, you tear it at the dotted line, and there's just the most beautiful um, patterns here of all botanical flowers and plants. So let me just do a really quick flip through for you, and then we can move on with the stationery haul. As you can see, some of these are just absolutely gorgeous, and it's quite thick paper because it's wrapping paper. I love this one so much. This pink is just absolutely gorgeous. And this one here. Let's be honest, I love them all. <laughs> I could not go past it. So I'll probably be making a lot of envelopes out of these too. I thought these would be perfect for envelopes. Beautiful envelope with a little, um, maybe even a floral stamp, if I could find some floral stamps. Probably not use these darker ones as much. You guys haven't really seen me use black, but even just an envelope like that would be beautiful. And then, oh, I didn't even realize this was in the book. There's stickers. How cool is that? All right, love it. So that one's at monsterthreads.com.au. So this next one I bought online and I was heading to work one day and I saw someone who bought this and I instantly bought it and then I didn't realize how much it was so it was in US dollars and I went straight through to PayPal and I didn't see the pricing of the shipping so it was a little bit expensive but after it arrived I was like oh it's absolutely adorable I probably want to buy it again because of the price but I'm so happy that I do have it now because it's it's absolutely adorable and I can't wait to use this. Um, so it's Simply Guided. So it's from Simply Guided and it's one of their boxes. Um, and this one's the Cherry Blossom themed one. I'm actually, I don't know a lot about this so I can't really talk about it a lot. I literally just, this was one of those cheeky buys online <laughs> early morning when I was half asleep. So Simply Guided, um, I think it's just simplyguided.com. But after I got this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is absolutely gorgeous. So it's a little bit expensive. I will put the links in the description box below. But if you do have either some birthday money or let me just move this down. Um, a little bit of cash that you can be a bit cheeky with. Um, then this is this is a really good one-off purchase. Or look, even if you like if love stationery, have some money to spend on stationery. This would be gorgeous to buy as well. So, let's actually start off with um, the stickers. So, as you can see, they are those, oh, I don't know what you call it, just shiny stickers. Let's, let's call it shiny stickers. Um, and it's this beautiful rose gold. And as you can see, there's a little planner, um, to-do list, like to-do, um, to buy, to pay, today. So, little things you can put in your planners. And, um... Yeah, there's just really beautiful stickers in here. So it's on both sides. So these, I would say, for more planner lovers. And then these pens, I thought, were absolutely gorgeous as well. Sorry, the focus is going in and out. So this is just a really... It's really heavy, 
So it seems like a really beautiful pen to have around. Um, and it's got that sort of rose gold. Oh, it's more like copper, actually, the copper on it. And this one is just another... I think it's a gel pen, this one, actually. But the detailing's absolutely beautiful on those pens. So we've got the planner stickers, the pens. What is this? I think this is just... Oh, it's a beautiful just, um, card. I think you could send this as a postcard. So it says, every day you can admire the moon, the snow, and the flowers. Very, very beautiful. Um, and this is what's inside. So this was actually the February box. So I had this for a little while. Um, I'll pop those up there. And then this one I was obsessed with. So you may think that... Oh, no, it's stuck. Let me move those across. And look, it comes with so much washi tape as well. So these stickers actually melted because I think it was in the sun for a while and this is um, plastic so I really don't want to peel that off I want to do that quite gently because as you can see it's already coming off so I'll just show you on this side <laughs> but basically it's like a shaker pocket pencil case which I absolutely love how adorable is that I can't wait to use that these washi tapes are also absolutely adorable because they're so shiny and rose gold Oh, I'm out of focus. I'm so sorry. Can you see the shine on them? So this one here is the cherry blossoms. This one has bows, a smaller bow one, and little cherry blossoms as well. So I'll show you in more detail when I go and make um, a beautiful pink-themed <laughs> snail mail package. Um, but for now, I can just show you in the packaging because it will take forever, this video, <laughs> if I start opening everything up. So simply guided. And then this is just a really beautiful notebook that says blossom on the front so that is the simply guided box and I'll also have the link in the description box below if you want to purchase one okay so the rest is from Daiso and the rest was around $40 so all of this was $40 today now I've got some snacks um, that I'll put aside for now but we'll start off with the stationary bits and pieces and then we'll move into the snacks um, and yeah, that would be the end of the haul. So this is the last shop that I went to. And this is actually from the Daiso in, um, near Town Hall. So it's pretty much right across from Town Hall. There's a really big Daiso and it's the best Daiso in Sydney. So if you're looking for a good Daiso, um, I recommend the Town Hall one. Now, this I've never seen in any Daiso before. So it is a really big um card so it's actually one of these cards that have got one of these little strings and you open it up and then you put the little card in and it says message for you and it's hedgehog themed i just thought it was absolutely adorable and on the back it's so you can see it comes with a uh, um, craft paper as well so i love that i thought that was so adorable and it's it's quite spring themed i would say because it's got this little bunny and the flowers so i can probably use this at springtime i think now, another thing I've never seen at Daiso are the wax seal stamps. So on the bottom it actually just says, um, for you. And then I got the gold, um, wax. So I thought that was really cool because, yeah, I didn't even know Daiso did wax seals. And these were only, like, $2.80 each. Oh, and just so you know, in Australia, everything in Daiso is $2.80. This is a, another hedgehog themed um, like writing pack. So it's actually got the paper and the envelopes and they are autumn themed. So I can use this for this month. It's actually autumn right now in Australia. So I'll probably send a few pen pals um, this writing paper here. It's really, really adorable. I absolutely love Daiso's writing packs. Next is this really simple paper. Uh, it's just paper paper writing it's just writing paper <laughs> writing paper very simple um, I don't have to really explain that it's writing pen pal letters these I've also never seen a Daiso I feel like I had such a good run at Daiso it's Hello Kitty stickers and it's candy themed so as you can see there's a little candy cane chocolate bars so I had to get two of them because I want to put a few of these in my journal and I also want to give some of these away for people who like um, Hello Kitty
And next are these just really simple um, thank you cards. They look like little embroidery um, flowers. And I just thought they were really cute for anyone who sends me something that I can't write a full package back to. Um, write a full letter back to, sorry, like a full, make a full pen pal letter back. I can just write a really simple thank you card and give them a few little goodies. So I thought that was the perfect size for um, writing a few letters back to some people. Alrighty. Um, so next are these really, really large washi tapes. So they are... I would say vintage themed. This one has um, old magazine, like newspapers type cutouts. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. It just looks like a magazine basically. And this one does as, as well. <laughs> it's more yellowy and this one's more brown. You can't really see it but I will be using these in my um, future videos. So I'll let you guys know when I do use them so you know that they're from Daiso. Alrighty, so we are now into the goodies and the sweets. These are so adorable. I'm going to be keeping the packaging and putting these in my journal. So this one I think is just the original Milky. I actually have no idea what's inside of these. I'm pretty sure this is just the normal, um, yeah it is. These are the ones I actually got from Japan. So these are just the, the sweets and they're just wrapped up and they're just the little Milky sweets. Um, they're very nice. <laughs> the next one is... I'm guessing maybe heart or um, uh, what <laughs> they have to be strawberry and grape flavored but I don't know what kind of sweets they are I mainly got it for the packaging these ones are just like little pocky um, but the choc cookie so I thought that was really cool and again I really just thought the packaging was super cute and then lastly so I'll move the packaging down so you guys can see them um, lastly are these little I think these ones are little biscuit chocolates, or they may just be chocolates with strawberry on choc and top and chocolate on the bottom. Strawberry on top, chocolate on the bottom. Um, I'm pretty sure I've had these once before, maybe when I was in Japan. But again, I just thought it was so adorable because it's got Hello Kitty and the Milky Girl and a lot of other the really cute characters that you see all around Japan. So that is my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a lot of inspiration and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite stationery was out of this haul. And I would love to know if you guys have these stationery shops in your countries and what you're going to go out and buy or what, you're, what you found inspiration from. So please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.